Hudson Technologies, formerly Hudson Tool and Die, celebrates 70 years of manufacturing. You may not know Hudson Technologies, but the cases that they manufacture are in some of the well-known places like the space shuttle, airplanes, batteries, and medical devices such as pacemakers, to name a few. The manufacturing company was founded in 1940 in Hudson County, New Jersey by Charles Batka Sr. and was expanded to Ormond Beach in 1961. A leading U.S. manufacturer of deep-drawn metal enclosures or cases and stampings, Hudson Technologies uses a variety of high-performance metals including stainless steel, titanium, brass, copper, nickel, and more for a diverse clientele across the globe. We are in four major industries. Uh, the, the one product that you may know the most about is in the medical industry. We make uh, the largest uh, manufacturer of implantable batteries, capacitors, and covers for the medical industry. Every plane that's in the sky has hundreds of Hudson enclosures. Every shuttle that goes up has two to three hundred enclosures. Hudson Technologies is an economic development success story. Company founder Charles Backa Sr. led the company through the 10-year process of expanding to Volusia County in the late 50s, early 60s. There was an ad in the Wall Street Journal by uh, an organization that was called the Committee of 100 in, uh, in Daytona Beach. The owner of the company at that time read that and sent a, a note to them and said, we wanted to do more. We want to know more about this Committee of 100 and Daytona Beach. Hudson was the first company successfully recruited by the Committee of 100, Daytona Beach's economic development initiative at the time. In 1961, uh, we announced that uh, we would be moving from Newark, New Jersey, which was where our, the company started, the original owner, Charles Batka, was from the Newark area, that we would be moving to the Daytona Beach area. The Ormond Beach facility opened in 1969, where all operations are now located. Most recently, economic gardening helped the company transition its manufacturing processes to an entirely green one, with virtually no hazardous byproducts or waste. The multi-year, multi-million dollar voluntary effort sets the standard in the manufacturing world. We had a ceremony where we pulled the switch on trichloroethylene and starting with the first day of 2008, we were a green company. We were using no hazardous substance, no oils in the facility at all, and, and we are extremely proud of that. The company has set its sights on the future. Green technologies are a focus of the future and not just practice at this staff-centric company, where more than 200 employees are vested in the company's future by practicing solid customer service. We make it here and we sell it elsewhere. We sell to Singapore. We sell uh, to Ireland. And recently, uh, we started making medical devices for the Chinese market. Hudson Technologies, owned by JSJ Corporation since 1984, houses over 130 presses ranging from 1 to 500 tons, with a tooling library of more than 15,000 shapes and sizes within its 115,000 square foot manufacturing plant. In 1982, one of Batka's original presses entered the national collections of the Smithsonian Institute. Hudson Technology Seamless Enclosures, also referred to as cases, cans, covers, containers, and stampings, are integral to aerospace, aviation, automotive, green battery, electrical, implantable medical devices, and other industrial applications worldwide. Hudson made enclosures have been below the surface of the earth, inside the human body, to the moon and beyond. I'm Michelle Coates for the Business Beat. 
Check it out for yourself at the October 2nd celebration. The 2008 Volusia Manufacturers Association's Manufacturer of the Year is hosting a public celebration that will include tours of the 115,000 square foot facility, manufacturing demonstrations, children's activities, and refreshments. For more information, you can visit HudsonTechnologies.com or call 386-672-2000.